Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Road to a Hybrid, episode 8 I think we are on now. Um, pretty much we're going to start this episode going into a game straight away. And this guy has a pretty scary team, he's got a lot of rare bronzes. And I think two or three of the players uh, from this team, including Bradshaw the Beast, who I do have in my squad as well, um, are four star skillers. So coming into this game, um, I thought this guy was going to... Um, I suppose to say know what he was doing and uh, be quite a tough opposition but in fact as you see here we're coming into just two minutes game time and uh, we already get our slightly sweaty first goal via Bradshaw um, it's a pretty nice team play but to be fair it wasn't really that hard to break him down um, and to be honest this match wasn't really a game it was just shooting practice <laughs> Uh, may sound a bit cocky but as you see here again in the 32nd minute we make it 2-0 with Graven and um, so the defender were there by actually uh, not moving at all and I just pressed LB and stopped the ball wait for the defender to go past and then uh, shot and obviously scored but as you see here in the 45th minute we uh, we go ahead and um, I actually I attempted um, to try and do a back heel goal but instead it tramped it um, I don't know if any of you have ever done that before but then again I went and succeeded via um, actually doing a nice little back heel into the open net of Bradshaw and uh, as you saw back there the guy eventually rage quit now coming to this uh, against this team this guy was actually quite scary too he has of course Roger Johnson at centre back um, Ricardo Fuller up front who has four star skills and his strike partner that German bronze looks very scary and very dench indeed um, but the first highlight here is actually in the 10th minute and if I remember rightly this was a bit of a route um, I think I can remember correctly nice little sell the defender there with a fake shot and then I finesse it with Nichols past the goalkeeper into the goal that makes it 1-0 quite early on in the game um, I think this goal this game was 5 maybe 6-0 actually um, in the 24th minute we come along here with our second goal and uh, passing it along through the team trying to get uh, trying to get some space to be able to shoot and uh, although the keeper does save it um, I get I suppose you could call it a very harsh penalty and uh, if I was the other guy I would have been pissed off indeed however um, in order to get the 2-0 cushion in the 25th minute I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and made sure I put the penalty away very surely and very confidently and uh, that gives uh, Gravin, who's actually a pretty good penalty taker to be fair, I think his stats aren't too shabby and um, once again just passing the player along to the players and then uh, although Gravin doesn't quite get the first shot he does pick up the rebound and uh, beats the defender to the header and I think that's his hat-trick, is it his hat-trick? Um, I may be wrong, he's, if it's not his hat-trick he's definitely got two goals anyway and um, look at this for a goal, just completely steams past all of the defenders and uh, manages to put that away as well, just the 83 pace coming to show there and uh, the very nice finish indeed makes it 4-0 and uh, that means that Graben definitely does have a hat-trick by now if he didn't before um, Graben once again doing work, the roulette, the shot, the rebound and uh, although the uh, the attentional goal doesn't go in, we uh, we have a second shot and uh, Nichols does put that in very confidently and uh, that puts us up 5-0 um, as I did say it was going to be a rout and in 89th minute um, just to secure to win if it needs any more securing Graben goes ahead and makes it 6-0 so I think Graben picked up at least 4 goals in that game um, showing what kind of a prolific striker he is and uh, this is pretty much me just showing you the final score um, We'll be able to see here for sure from our adjudicate. Oh, I didn't even get to see it. I think Rabin got five goals at the end there. I don't know. I got a quick look. I wasn't too sure. But on to the next game. This guy had an even scarier squad with Osborne Pierce at two centre backs. He has um, his right mid, is a four star skiller. He's got Boya in the middle along with Bullard who has four star skills. Great free kicks. Zaha and Huskalep up front of both very fast and have great free kicks too. Um, and four star skills as well. So really, this episode was quite a testy, um, quite a test actually in terms of how well my team were going to perform perform against the better teams. And um, I have to say, overall, I think the team played well. I mean, maybe the players that I was playing, um, e.g., the people that were, the people that were controlling the teams could have done better. 
Um, but you know, I'm going to take a positive out of this and uh, it really does show how our team is really bonding together and coming together to uh, to help me win these games and score some pretty nice goals to be fair. I remember this game um, because the guy was so good and it really was um, a chance of me making the most of my chances and um, and it was really hard because the guy was so good at passing he wasn't as good at defending however he was still a very decent one and um, Zaha you see they're making it 1-1 in the 35th minute and honestly every single time I got a goal it was like um, I'd have to celebrate with a fist bump because um, he really was that hard of an opposition to beat Sawyer here getting um, quite a fortunate I suppose say long shot um, quite fortunate the defender didn't block it or the goalkeeper didn't save it and uh, at this point I was going, yes, come on, we can do it, we can do it, come on. And uh, it, that's really what it was, this guy was just so hard to play, that's what she said. And uh, to, um, in the end actually, we come along here and get the penalty. And uh, all thanks to Bradshaw trying to do some skills that actually failed. Um, didn't do what I wanted him to do at all. However, he does put away the penalty. Um, Bradshaw's goal to games ratio is absolutely insane. I did try and take a look um, when you press in the analog on the player to see um, the actual stats of how many games they've played and how many goals they've scored, but it just says zero and zero for some reason when I've obviously played more than zero games and scored more than zero goals. But um, anyway, as you see, we won that game three one, and uh, from that we go and buy a player. So guys, it's been I'm original case. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm out. Bye bye.